Sorry, man, but I've got to pass this time. I forgot I have to go check out that cram school today. Sorry, man. No time for ramen today. I mean, getting into college is pretty important, don't you think? You think about the future too, right? so serious about your future? I never really thought about my future until Emiri told me I should. She said I'd end up a loser if I didn't. But the future's a long way off. I mean, I still have to go to college first, right? Apparently, a bunch of Emiri's students go to good colleges. She must be thinking about our future together. You ought to think about your future too, man. I'd hate to see you end up becoming a loser, you know? That's why we gotta work our asses off for our futures. school.
yeah. Have you been training to strengthen your core? It's a good idea if you want to shorten your runtime. You're less likely to injure yourself, too. I was talking with Kaz about putting it in the first year's practice routine, actually. Do you mind if we continue talking in the cafe? I'm a little hungry. Ow! You again! You know, it's dangerous to be running around a place like this. You're lucky it's just me. But what if you bumped into a scary man, huh? If you want to play, do it at your schoolyard. We can't play there. The sixth graders are always hogging everything by playing soccer. They said they'll move if we can beat them in a race, but we're only fourth graders. There's no way we could win. That's why we had to play tag here instead, Auntie Yuko. I'll let the anti slide this time, but only because I feel sorry for you. All right, come with me. This field is so big. Wow, high school is amazing. They said it's fine for us to use the schoolyard for a bit. Normally, you wouldn't be allowed in here. Understand? So don't touch anything you're not supposed to, and if something happens, let us know immediately. Can you promise that? We promise. Good. Then practice until the big hand on that clock reaches 12. And don't go inside the school building. All right, let's do this. Wait, come here for a second. You need to pump your arms more. And don't lift your legs so high, or you might pull a muscle. Come on, give it a try. You just gotta believe in yourself. Woohoo! Check this out. Wow! Kenshon, you're so fast! Hey, big sis! You should be our coach! Aww, I'm a real sucker when kids look at me that way. But I've never tried coaching before. What do you think I should do? Really think I should? Well, it isn't a decision to make lightly. All right, I'll be your coach, but I'm not gonna go easy on you guys, and no one's allowed to quit halfway either. Got it? Got it, Coach Hugo! Hey, is he gonna teach us too? Is he your boyfriend, Coach? Never you mind about that. Now everyone, line up. I said I wouldn't go easy on you, didn't I? Positive. If you think you're gonna lose, you will. Don't be afraid of them just because they're sixth graders. That, that sounds hard, hard but okay. okay. Once they started calling me coach, I couldn't resist. Hey, um, I was wondering, would you maybe want to do this coaching thing together? I know I'm asking a lot, but I don't know much about racing. And plus, you're really athletic too. So if you'd coach them with me, I'd really appreciate it. I mean, why not, right? <laughs> Please? Honestly, I don't think I can handle it on my own. Oh, thank goodness. I'm sure those kids will be happy, too. Thanks.
know that I keep asking you for favors, but I'll make it up to you one day.
And I keep running into you at the weirdest times. You remembered what we talked about last time. Nothing gets past you, eh? So, yeah. I just got back from the hospital. They had the results from my last exam. And well, I... Ah! God, I'm kidding! Why can't I stand up? <laughs> Thanks. Funny, huh? All from just crouching down to tie my shoes. The thing you were around. If it were anyone else, the rest of the team would have found out. Thanks, man. I'm really grateful to have you as a friend. All right, I'm gonna go train by myself. Even if practice is over, I can't skip out on training. Big meet's not that far off. You're heading home, right? Then we'll train together next time. Take it easy.
ask around like we agreed? Huh? Were we supposed to do something by today? I told you! I know, I know! I'm kidding! Man, you've got such a short temper. Fine, then we'll meet in the lounge after school. Don't forget! Yes, ma'am. Gary, I'm counting on you. For both our sakes. I understand. Oh! Hey, Odagiri, what was that about? What did he mean by for both our sakes? He just wants to create a better school environment, so he simply asked a student fit for the job. Just like how the president asked him to join the student council to help out. You can't decide something like that without talking to the president first. I wouldn't be so nonchalant about this if I were you. There was a cigarette found in the boys' bathroom. And in his eyes, it doesn't matter if it's you or me. We're all suspects. Quite the exaggeration. I'm not a crime scene investigator. I'm a member of the disciplinary committee. Look, you have two choices. Either help out and prove you can be trusted, or refuse and prove you can't. <sighs> People like you and me have to deal with a lot of crap around here, don't we? Excusing myself. Hey! Don't ignore me! You kiss ass! Student council members shouldn't be fighting like this, should they? I better go tell the president! We agreed on Monday. We'll now hold a meeting to discuss what we've learned. Wow, you're really into this. Of course I am. I got lots of good info. And it turns out there was no angry ghost involved. Oh, so that's what's important, huh? First off, let's talk about how this rumor got started. The girl was found on the school grounds, so it does match the ghost story on that point. 
But why did the rumor spread so fast if this was the first time anything happened? I was surprised when I found out. After that first incident, the exact same thing happened to two other students. All three victims had to be hospitalized. No wonder people thought it was a ghost. Okay, moving on. The victims were all in different classes. And at first glance, they don't seem to be connected. But they did have one thing in common. Anyone know what it was? What is this, a quiz show? Do you know? What did all three victims have in common? Yep, that's right. Not just once or twice, either. They all got in with a bad crowd and were always out late. Considering they all ended up the same way, it can't just be a coincidence. So, to find out what happened, we're gonna do some field research. What? Field research? Yep, there's one place where all three victims were regulars. Whoa, hang on. You're not talking about that spot behind Port Island Station, are you? Oh, you know about it? Dude, you can't go there. I've heard all kinds of nasty rumors about that place. Oh, really? Well, then all the more reason we should go together. You're coming with, right? We're talking. Oh man, I don't know about this. That place is seriously bad news. Do we really have to go there? Up until now, all we've done is follow orders. Isn't it about time we start thinking for ourselves? I know what you mean, but man, you have to say it like that. I guess I don't have a choice, do I? Then it's settled. We'll go tomorrow night, so plan accordingly.
It's time. Let's get going. <laughs> Shouldn't we talk about this some more? I still think this is a bad idea. How are you scared of ghosts, but totally fine with this? Because stuff you can't see is way creepier. Actually, I'm more worried about the things I can't see. Like bats. And knives. <laughs> Big deal. So it's a little dangerous. Come on, let's strike while the iron's hot. Strike? Oh, now I'm the leader? Yeah. 
go. Precisely. Seriously? these guys check out those rags they're from gecko high oh man this is even worse than i thought you must have taken a wrong turn this place ain't for you buddy uh well uh, i what i'm saying is you being here is ruining our vibe beat it goatee Goatee? Oh, you mean me. We don't need your permission to be here. Hey, are you nuts? Read the room, won't you? I can read just fine. Come on, don't be intimidated by these punks. What'd you just say? She just called us punks. Come on. Let's post some pictures that'll make her daddy cry. Hope you've been practicing your sexy poses. <laughs> oh boy, that's too good. These guys are scum. Oh, so now we're scum, huh? Man, I feel sorry for you, goatee. This bitch is a real pain in the ass, isn't she? That's enough. They didn't know what they were getting into. I'll make sure they leave. You good with that? Who do you think you are, dumbass? They're not walking out of this. You want some too? It'll be fine. Ah, shit! Son of a bitch! You just crossed the line. You think you're going home alive now? Should we find out? Uh. No, or maybe not. <laughs> oh, man. We're a loser. Bastard. Your name's Aragaki, right? Yeah. Now I remember. Shinjiro Aragaki. You're from Gecko High, too, aren't you? Damn it, you're gonna regret this! <laughs> oh, man, Senpai! That was awesome! I remember you. You guys were in Aki's room at the hospital. You idiots. Go home. You don't belong here. Wait! Sorry, but there's something we need to know before we leave. Did Aki tell you to come here? <laughs> Hmm. Well, what do you want to know? Is this about that ghost story? Uh, yes, that's right! How'd you know? The rumor's been going around. Those girls who wound up in the hospital were here talking shit every night. They brag about all the stuff they did to some girl named Yamagishi. Yamagishi? You mean Fuka Yamagishi from 2E? They were picking on her? 
That's why people are saying it's Yamagishi's ghost that did it. Yamagishi-san's ghost? Wait, what do you mean by that? You guys don't know? This Yamagishi girl might be dead. I heard she hasn't been home in over a week. Wait, what? I thought she was just out recovering. So, you mean she's still missing? So much for that ghost story. Mr. Akota is the homeroom teacher for 2E, right? Does he know about this? I get it, Aki. Still trying to make up for the past. Hmm. It's you who can't let go. Huh? Nothing. Anyways, it's all I know. We done here? Yeah, totally. Thanks a lot. Come on. Show some appreciation. Don't come around here again. Thank you for helping us and for sharing what you know. That was really nice of you. Huh? Oh, uh, sorry. Just don't come here again.
It's amazing commodities! I'm going to do it! Good, good! Not bad, kid! Thanks, kid. Bye bye. Uh-uh. <laughs>